My name is Nicole Trembetto, one of the certified personal trainers at Glen Eagles Healthy Lifestyle Center. Today I'm going to be doing an additional five balance drills that you can do at home. We will be using the assistance of a chair and also some books again. Um, so let's begin. The first part we're going to be doing are some stretches that you can do before your balance drills just to warm up the ankles. So we have the chair right by our side, feet are hip distance apart. Taking your right leg back, you're gonna be in a lunge. Try to keep your feet as parallel as possible. So left knee is bent, trying not to get the knee over the toes, but right in line, so you can feel the stretch of your gastro. Next, we're gonna bend, so just to accommodate and uh, bring that right foot uh, forward just a little bit more. Bend the leg for the soleus and the ball of the foot. Bring that back, left foot's going to be back. So we were again, hip distance apart, chest is lifted, engage your core, chest is lifted, using the assistance of the chair. So this is your gastro, bending the leg to the soleus, shifting your weight forward for the ball of the foot, and bringing your feet back together. You can do that as many times as you feel uh, is necessary for your body. Next one, raising the heels, lowering the heels. Engage your core, chest is lifted. Watch the carriage of your neck, try not to go too far forward. Bring your neck back. And the next one, facing forward, using the chair. If you do want to use the chair for this one, you're going to flex and point. Your ankle range of motion. Flex and point, trying to keep it parallel. If the leg happens to turn out, try to bring it back to your neutral if your hip permits. If not, just work with what you have. Engage your core, chest is lifted, use the chair. And so we're just warming up the ankle. These are just some ideas that you can do to warm up your ankle before our balance drills begin. So the first balance drill, turning that chair towards you, wide with your stance, chest is lifted, engage your core. You're going to do a little bit of a squat, so your arms are extended forward, reaching the chair, shifting your weight, using the chair. So my foot, my left foot, the knee and the hip are right in line, using the assistance of the chair. Squatting again, making sure the knees are not shifted forward. You want to go back through your through the hips and up. Engage your core. Chest is lifted. So I'm not pressing too much, but just enough to give me some leverage. Squat and up and squat and up. So that was your first balance drill. Your second balance drill, bringing your feet a little closer together, lifting that right leg. Knees going to be right in line with the hips. We're gonna have the hands on the hips. You can keep your arms out to the side. We're gonna add a little bit of a challenge. You're rotating, engage your core. Chest is lifted, take your focus with you. Making sure that this knee does not turn in or turn out as you're doing those rotations. Switching legs, engage your core. Lifting to the chest, be careful of the carriage of your neck. Extending your arms, rotating and rotating. If you don't want to do that, keep your hands on your hip and just change your focus and coming back to center. So that was your second balance drill. The third one, you're going to be hip distance apart again, extending your right arm, right leg goes back, oppositional arm pattern, reaching for the chair and coming up, switching, hip distance apart, left leg extends, left leg reaches back, oppositional arm pattern, making sure the left knee stays right in line with the left hip. Try not to bring this right knee too far forward. You do want to use the glutes. Coming up, tap, so you have oppositional arms coming forward, legs going back. Your fourth balance drill, because my left hand is on the chair, left foot is forward, tandem stance. So you're going to balance, shift your weight forward, engage your core, chest is lifted, bringing that right leg around. You can use the assistance of the chair, arms can stay off to the side. Switching to the other side, the left hand is on the chair, so that left foot is back. Engage your core, shifting my weight forward, Bring that left foot around. If you want more challenge, you don't have to use the chair. If you need to use the chair, use the chair. Our last drill, we're going to be using 
your books, placing one book right beside, appropriately space the other two, engage your core, chest is lifted, stepping over, balance, stepping over, balance, step forward, tap the book, step forward, tap the book, tandem stance while you're walking, repeating, so you're going to reverse it, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, tap, step, tap, step, right to this book, over and balance, over and balance. So you can do that as many times as you feel that's necessary for you. I hope these balance rules were helpful for you. Have a great day. Thank you.